I was so sad. I fell in the bathroom, so my nurse doctor daughter was there. She took me to the Lincoln Community Center. And uh, so they discovered I had sugar. I was a diabetic, and it was up high. So I had got out of the tub and fell on the floor. So they written me out about uh, six prescriptors. And I didn't have no money to pay for them. Uh, the first time I met Ms. Haley, it was January of 2008, I believe. And what brought her here that day was that she couldn't afford her medicines. And the reason she could not is because she had no drug insurance. And if you have no drug insurance, when you go buy your medicines, you are paying full retail price. So that certainly is something that can make you a little anxious when you know what full retail price is for your medicines. But for her, it was probably a decision between uh, buying medicines and buying food or paying rent. Seriously, I mean, retail price for medicines is not kidding around money. I came here and Diane was in charge and she took complete over with everything. All I had to do was go back to the pharmacist. She gave me a card, bless her heart, and I went to the pharmacy and they filled my prescription right there, no, no trouble at all. Senior pharmacist's mission is to help older adults remain independent and healthy, and we do that in several ways. One is by helping people access the medications they need. Secondly, by helping them manage the medications so they're only getting the medicines that they do need and they're able to use them appropriately. Thirdly, providing them tailored community referrals so they can remain in their homes, independent with the services they need. They are the calls that I get, uh, Medicare or uh, prescriptors. They are responsible for, for my uh, sugar staying stable because they have me to walk. They talk to me what to eat and how to eat. See, I don't have that pop stomach like most women have my age, 77 years old. She is uh, certainly an independent woman um, and a very capable woman. And, um, you know, I think she really feels like we're somewhere that she can come when she doesn't know uh, how to get connected with what she needs. So you see, now Diana is my mother and my doc, my provider, and my father, so you know. One of my favorite quotes is this physician that we used to work with. His father he grew up on a farm, and his father said to him one time, what's the part of the blanket that keeps you warm? And the answer is the part that hangs over. Because if you trim budgets, if you trim programs too much, the leg starts falling out, the hand starts falling out, the arm starts falling out. And I think about that with social services or healthcare services that with tight budgets and such, a lot of that care and concern and that continuity of care, if we don't allow that to happen, you lose people. We're not social workers, but we do know there are lots of programs in Durham that can help people, so we do that what we call care management so that they can get those additional services, the safety net services, the part of the blanket that hangs over that can give Ms. Haley dignity, can make her feel proud that she's doing things to take care of herself, but lets her know that people care. They changed my life. Of course they did. I have no reason to be sad. Come on this way. I'm so happy. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.